In the Media Configuration tool, click on Add Custom Paper. On the next page, click on Add. Make sure your printer is in ready mode and click Next. Here you're going to select your media type to use as the base. In this case, for Live Canvas, we'll use Fine Art Watercolor, which will utilize Matte Black. If you're not sure, you can use the Assist button. Click Next. Now on this page, we're going to type how this media appears in both the driver and the control panel. We wanted to say Live Canvas in both cases. Let's hit Next. Now we're going to make sure that we load the Live Canvas into the printer. Now that we have Live Canvas loaded in the printer, let's hit OK. Or from a roll, hit OK. Now we're going to print out the paper feed adjustment. So this will take about three minutes to print. When the paper feed adjustment is complete, we're going to proceed to the next screen. Here we can change our automatic cut settings. We'll use user cut which will print a print cut guideline. We don't need a dry in time and we want borderless printing to be permitted. On the next page we're going to select our maximum ink usage. When we click on test print we see the six standard settings. We're going to hit start print because it will print all six of these and we're going to decide what has the best ink load. Upon reviewing our prints, we find that medium high is the ideal setting for live canvas. We're going to select that, hit OK. We also notice that under head height, it has recommended high, and under vacuum strength, it has recommended strong. Let's change those and hit next. We're going to confirm our settings here. Execute will send them to the printer and now we have live canvas loaded in the printer and the print plugin.